Hi, hello my dear learners and once again welcome to Math TV Lessons channel. By the way, I'm teacher Giovanni and I am your teacher in Math today. Our lesson today is a continuation of the lesson that I have discussed in my previous video on how to divide fractions and whole numbers. But this time, I want you to apply what you have learned to a real word problem on involving division of fractions and whole numbers. Are you excited to learn? So let's go, let's start our lesson. In this lesson, you will learn how to solve word problems involving division of fractions and whole numbers. In this lesson, you will be able to explain the techniques on how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving division of fractions and whole numbers. Solve routine and non-routine problems using appropriate strategies and tools. Bear it in mind that in solving word problems, varied solutions can be used. What you need to do is to analyze the word problem and identify the appropriate steps on how to solve the word problem. In solving routine problems, you may do the following steps. These steps are the same in solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of fractions and whole numbers. The first one, understand. Know what is asked and what are given. Second, plan. Know what strategy can be used to solve the problem what operation will be used, and write the number sentence. The third one, solve. Write the correct units and label your answer. The last one, check and look back. Review and check your answer. In solving non-routine problems, read and analyze the problem carefully. You may use the following strategies like act out the problem, table method, drawing or making a diagram to solve, work backwards and other ways you can apply to any problems. Let's start our lesson by reviewing what you already know about division of fractions. The first one, how many three-fourths are there in nine? In order to know the number of three-fourths in number nine, we have to divide nine by three-fourths. So that is, 9 divided by 3 fourths equals n. Let's recall the steps in dividing fractions and whole numbers. The first step is you have to get the reciprocal of your divisor. What is our divisor here is 3 fourths. So what is the reciprocal of 3 fourths? So that is 4 over 3. In finding the reciprocal, you are going to get the multiplicative inverse of your divisor. So the multiplicative inverse of 3 fourths is 4 over 3. And then you are going to proceed to multiplication. So that is 9 times 4 over 3 equals n. And take note that you have a whole number. What will you do with the whole number? You are going to over it by 1. So that is 9 over 1 times 4 over 3 equals n. And then you are going to follow the steps in multiplying fractions. The first one is multiply the numerators. So what are the numerators? So we have 9 and 4. So 9 times 4 is 36. The next one is multiply the denominators. So we have 1 and 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. The answer is 36 over 3. 
So, we are going to divide 36 by 3. So, 36 divided by 3 is 12. The final answer is, there are 12 three-fourths in number 9. So, the next one, what is the quotient if we divide 8 with 2 fourths? So, that is 8 divided by 2 fourths equals n. The first step is, you are going to get the reciprocal of your divisor. So, our divisor here is 2 over 4 or 2 fourths. So, what is the reciprocal? We have 4 over 2 and then proceed to multiplication. So, 8 times 4 over 2. And take note that we have the whole number, which is 8. We are going to over it with 1. So, that is 8 over 1 times 4 over 2. And then multiply the numerators. So, 8 times 4 is 32. Multiply the denominators. 1 times 2 is 2. So, the answer is 32 over 2 or 16. So, let's start our lesson proper. Problem number 1. The distance between the first and the last stop of a bus route is two-thirds kilometers. There are 10 stops on this route. What is the average distance between the stops? In solving the problem, we have to follow the steps. The first one, understand what is asked in the problem. So, the average distance between the stops. What are the given facts? We have 3 fourths kilometer, 10 stops on the road. And then let's proceed to the second step, which is planned. What operation is to be used? In order to know the average distance between the stops, we need to divide. So the operation to be used here is division. And what is the number sentence? We have 2 thirds divided by 10 equals n. Next is we are going to solve. What is the solution? We are going to divide the fractions by multiplying the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So, 2 thirds divided by 10 equals n. What is the first step? We have to get the reciprocal of your divisor. What is our divisor? That is 10. What is the reciprocal of 10? Take note that 10 is a whole number. What will you do? We have to over it with 1. So that is 10 over 1. So the reciprocal of 10 over 1 is 1 over 10. And then you are going to proceed to multiplication. So that is 2 thirds times 1 tenth equals n. And then multiply the numerators. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 10 is 30. Is this our final answer? No. Take note that 2 over 30 can be reduced to lowest term by finding the GCF of your numerator and denominator. And then you are going to divide this numerator and denominators by the GCF. The GCF is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So your answer is 1 over 15. So, you are going to check and look back. You are going to review your answer. So, your final answer here is the average distance between the stops is 1 over 15 kilometer. So, let's have problem number 2. Olivia used 3 over 15 pounds of cheese to make 3 pizzas. If she makes 5 pizzas, how much cheese is needed? In problem number 2, you need to figure out that you need to divide and multiply. 
Let's find out using this strategy. We can also use the same strategy that we have used in problem number one. The first one is to understand. Know what is asked and you are going to know the given facts. So we have 3 over 15 pound of cheese by 3 pizzas. Then multiply the 5 pizzas she made to find out the pound of cheese needed. So what is the number sentence? We have open parenthesis 3 over 15 divided by 3 close parenthesis times 5 equals n. So this kind of problem is what we call a non-routine problem because it involves more than two operations and you have to figure out the problem before solving it. It, it takes time for you to analyze and find different strategies in order to solve the problem. So we already have the number sentence so now let's solve open parenthesis 3 over 15 divided by 3 close parenthesis times 5 equals n if you recall the topic about the series of operations the what we call the pm does you can apply that topic in this lesson take note that you are going to solve first or you are going to compute first the number inside the parenthesis or inside the grouping. So what are the numbers inside the grouping? We have 3 over 15 divided by 3. Okay, so now we can apply what we have learned in dividing fractions. So what is the first step? We have to get the reciprocal of your divisor. So 3 over 15 divided by 3. So what is our divisor here? That is 3. And we are going to get the reciprocal of 3. And that is 1 third. So that is 3 over 15 times 1 third. Take note that after getting the reciprocal of your divisor, you have to change the operation into multiplication. That's why we have this new equation or new number sentence as 3 over 15 times 1 third. So multiply the numerators, we have 3 times 1 is 3. And then we also need to multiply the denominators, we have 15 times 3 equals 45. So that is 3 over 45. And take note that we still have a number to solve outside the parenthesis and we need to multiply our answer which is 3 over 45 to 5 so 3 over 45 times 5 take note that number 5 here is a whole number so we have to over it with 1 do we need to find the reciprocal no because our operation here, or the operation that we use here, is multiplication. So we have to follow the steps in multiplying fractions. You just simply multiply the numerators and the denominators. So that is 3 times 5 equals 15. And 45 times 1 is 45. So your answer is 15 over 45. Is this the final answer? No. We can still simplify 15 over 45. How? How can you simplify it? You can simply mentally get the GCF of 15 and 45. But if you find hard, you can use the continuous division or prime factorization to get the GCF of the two numbers, which are 15 and 45. If you do not know how to get the GCF, please watch my video on how to get or find the GCF of two or more numbers. But in this case, our GCF is 15. We have to divide 15 and 45 by their GCF. So 15 divided by 15 is 1. 
45 divided by 15 is 3. So, 15 over 45 is equal to 1 third. And then you are going to check and look back. You are going to review and check your answer. So, your final answer here, 1 third pound of cheese is needed to make 5 pizzas. Okay, so we are now done with our lesson on how to solve word problems involving division of fractions and whole numbers. I know that you learned something today and I hope that you will never forget what you have learned because I'm sure you will be using this topic in the next lessons that you are going to take. So, once again, I'm Giovanni Sconde or Teacher Giovanni saying thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye!